On this week's Growing, Eating, and Educating, Nambop Farm Director Andrea Bushry gives us a chick update. Yeah, Andrea is going to tell us about the mobile summer chicken coop. Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to Growing, Eating, and Educating. I'm your farm director, Andrea Bushry, and behind me here, we have our chickens. We are finally mobile. It's finally warm enough for us to be able to kick the chickens out of their winter coop, and we are gonna tell you all about our summer coop. So this is our mobile chicken coop. This is something we got a week ago or so, and this is what's gonna be holding our chickens throughout the spring and the summer. So this has absolutely everything that our hens will need. Over here we have our nesting boxes. This is where the hens will be able to lay all of their eggs. This nesting box actually also has a door that will close at night so that it kind of kicks the hens out from brooding their own eggs. Um, these also are angled so that the eggs will land on a conveyor belt so that all we have to do is turn a crank and we'll bring the eggs toward us when we're ready to collect them. In the middle here, we have our feed. So it has a sensor on it that tells um, the feed system when it's low on feed to bring more feed through the line. So it's an auger system. Uh, we also have lights in here so that if we wanted to manipulate um, the day length for the chickens, we'll be able to do that and we can set it on a timer. We also have a roost bar in here, so we usually lift this up during the day so that there's more room on the floor for space. And then when we're ready to go for the day, uh, we'll take this roost bar down and they'll be able to roost on this, but then also on the floor. Along the wall over here, we also have our water lines. So this is a gravity fed system. So you'll see this yellow tank is what's holding most of their water. It's usually around 60 gallons and it just gravity feeds their nipple waters so that they'll be able to free feed um, and get water all day long. And then this also acts as a shelter for them. So this protects them from the rain. It also gives them shade from the sun. Um, our exterior coating has a side that is white and then the bottom side of it is black. So the black is facing in, so it stays dark and the white's facing out, so it kind of reflects the sun. Um, so that's something that keeps them a lot cooler inside. The other nice thing about this is that the floors are actually slatted, so their manure all just drops to the ground instead of having to come in here and shovel it out all the time. It just falls right to the ground, which adds fertility to our soil. When we moved the chickens in here, we put them out of the chicken coop that they were in and moved them into here at night. We did it at night so that they were sleepy and it was a little less stressful for them. We kept them in this coop for about three days or so so that they could understand that this is their new home. Um, and so they transitioned a lot better when we kept them in here for a while. We let them out on the third day to be outside and it was kind of their test day to understand that they might come back in here at night to roost or they might be roosting outside. It was kind of a gamble to see what would happen. On day three, we actually found that they came in here at night and they roosted exactly how they were supposed to be doing that. Um, so we wanted them all to be in here so that they're away from predation, things like foxes. When they sleep on the ground, they're a lot more susceptible to those things. So we want them inside in protection. So they actually did really well with their training. Um, the next phase of their training is to keep them from from roosting underneath the coop. So we'll check out what that looks like. Right now we have a fence going all the way around this coop. The reason we're doing this is so that when the chickens go to sleep at night, they don't go underneath the coop to go to sleep. We wanna make sure that they're going inside the coop so that they're safe from predators like foxes and coyotes. So until they learn to do that, we're gonna keep the fence around there. Once they do understand this training, we'll take the fence off and then the coop will actually start to go all around the farm. So stay tuned for more at Nambop Farm to see where our chickens go next.